Mr. Gavaskar with Kohli and Pujara gone, uh, India needed someone to stand tall today and KL Rahul did so. But what a heartbreak in the end. Yes, it was. I think uh, to uh, get uh, one run uh, away from a double hundred and get out. Uh, it is It is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking to get out generally. Uh, sometimes when you get out at 70, when you're batting well and you think you've missed out on 100, uh, you say it's 30 runs away. But when you're batting very well, then, you know, when you get out, you just feel uh, terrible. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty certain that uh, KL Rahul must be feeling terrible. Because also, the manner in which he got out, it was a wide ball. He could have left it alone. But sometimes this is the pressure of being in proximity to a landmark can bring. When you're 49, when you're 99, when you're 199. So I think that is where it can bring about a bad shot and that's what happened. But he's young and I think there are many more opportunities to get not just 200 but even 300. Mr. Gavaskar, most uh, good players against spin are either very nimble on the feet or use the sweep shot very well. Rarely does one see players who are quick to go down the pitch and also who are equally comfortable in employing the sweep shot. Would you say that Rahul is from a rare breed who, uh, who is able to do both very well? Yes, I think uh, you look at the way he played the uh, sweep shot from outside the off stump shuffling across towards the off stump and because he's a tall man taking that big stride out so that he wouldn't be out LBW. So he was clearly thinking about what shots would be productive without actually uh, taking any risk. And uh, then he uses his feet to get down the pitch and drive the ball through the covers or drive the ball through the onside. So he's got just the combination of footwork and also an awareness of what the field, where the field is. So I think that combination is something where uh, the captain or fielding captains and bowlers right. uh, find it very, very hard to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, and Kale Rahul has come back from an injury. He missed the New Zealand series. And then, you know, it comes to this. Would it make for a sweet or for a bitter memory for the Karnatak youngster now? I think it's a sweet memory. Every time you score 100 for your country, I think it's a, it's a huge moment. Uh, so he will be very, very happy uh, that he has been able to make a comeback. I still feel, though, that whatever injury that he was carrying in the match, uh, or, or happened uh, when he was batting. He's got to have a very good look at it because there's another 25 days before the one-day tournament starts, so one, one-day series starts, and he better get it treated uh, very, very quickly. Like, you know, like his, uh, somebody who he was named after, Rahul Dravid, mm -hmm. did uh, because he, he felt he was cramping up. He did a sweat analysis uh, to see why he was cramping up. Then he started taking the, the right kind of, you know, soft drinks or refreshing drinks to keep the body fluids up, etc., etc. This, this is the kind of dedication KL Rahul has to show. Also, at the other end of that 161-run partnership was uh, Karun, Nair, Karun Nair, who is a college mate, state mate, and now sharing the Indian dressing room with it. Would you say that they fed off each other's energy in the middle? Absolutely. When, when uh, you're batting with somebody who you've grown up batting with, then there's a sense of comfort. There's a sense of knowing that if things are not going well for me, if I'm playing badly, then that partner will come in and tell me what I'm doing wrong. The partner will come and shield me from the strike for a bit so that I settle down at the non-strike is in. So when you have that, and also importantly, that my partner will know when I want a run, when I want an extra run, and, right. and respond to that. So when that happens, mm -hmm. uh, clearly you're that much more comfortable at the crease. Mr. Gavaskar, time's running out on the show, but I have to ask you this one last question. What are the chances for Team India to take a sizable lead in Chennai and bat only once in this test match? It's, uh, it'll mean that they'll have to bat really well. Uh, Vijay will have to bat uh, really well. They are 86 runs uh, behind. So the lead is eminently possible before lunch tomorrow if they bat well. And then they'll have to accelerate just a little bit to try and put some uh, uh, pressure on, uh, on the England uh, team in the second innings like they did in Mumbai. And who knows, uh, they can end up uh, winning this test match as well. But before I go, because I know Vijender is going to be in the, in the studio, may I please offer my congratulations to Vijender for a fantastic bout. I was watching it on tele television from my hotel room and uh, it was just such a delight. I particularly like that little, you know, that left-handed thing uh, before, he, before he socked uh, his opponent. Fantastic and many congratulations to Vijender and many, many more uh, wins uh, for him.